All right. So uh, thank you all for joining us here for this uh, universal product webinar on the ICM 325A. This is our universal low ambient head pressure control. And um, we are gonna discuss this thing, get a little bit of detail about what it is, what it does, and uh, uh, where you might need one of these. So uh, what low ambient head pressure controls do? Uh, it's probably a good place to start. Head pressure controls are basically an electronic speed controller uh, for your outdoor condenser fan. Uh, using probes, they sense a condenser temperature or pressure uh, and vary the power output to the condenser fan motor, which causes the motor to slow down um, so, that, uh, so that you don't have problems internally uh, with your coils and things when operating in a low ambient uh, outdoor temperature condition. Uh, why you may need one, air conditioning systems and refrigeration are commonly required to operate during low outdoor ambient temperatures. Uh, and this could be for a variety of factors, um, refrigeration, for example, um, perishable food items and things like that um, inside. Um, if it's if it's cold outside, you may still have heat load inside and need to run air conditioning and um, and or refrigeration. And so you need a way to slow that condenser fan motor down so you don't get ice ups uh, on your coils. And uh, we've got an illustration of that here. This is a kind of a common indoor uh, a coil that sits inside your furnace, usually your air handler, uh, and that's where the the uh, air conditioning um where the cold air um is is uh, developed is um with this cold condenser coil so operating cooling in cold weather um can cause head pressure to drop and then um these indoor coils can freeze up and uh, obviously you can't get an airflow across a coil that is frozen up and it can cause other problems as well uh, low pressure cutouts, typically refrigeration systems will have low pressure controls on them uh, and they'll keep dropping out. And that's a nuisance call for contractors and it can be damaging to the equipment, uh, including liquid slugging of the compressor. Uh, we need um, expanded gas coming back to the compressor and uh, uh, operating air conditioning and low ambient can cause liquid refrigerant to come back to the compressor, which is not condensable and, and it can cause uh, damage to the compressor uh, can also cause premature compressor burnouts, uh, radit fan cycling, a uh, number of different things that can occur. Simple, easy solution, ICM uh, 325A, universal head pressure control. You can do virtually anything with this for single um, phase applications. So let's see what we got next here. Um, applications, frozen food, uh, server rooms, that's a big one. A um, lot of heat load in server rooms and um, and a lot of times there's need to operate those in uh, lower uh, ambient conditions outdoors and that can lead to some problems. So uh, uh, low ambient head pressure control is a really great option uh, for server rooms. Uh, standard ACs and heat pumps, uh, you may have you know a bunch of family over for a holiday or something like that when it's cold outside. Uh, still need to run your AC or heat pump, and uh, these can mitigate the effects of that. Grocery stores, supermarkets, uh, medical offices, event spaces, manufacturing plants, so many applications where low ambient head pressure control can be used. Uh, heating and air conditioning is something that people take for granted uh, until it's not working, and, and then everyone knows, um, you know, that they have an issue and, and um this is a way to uh, stay out in front of that, uh, prevent those problems from occurring in the first place. Uh, other applications, uh, cooling towers, uh, temperature, uh, humidity sensitive environments like grow houses. And uh, grow houses are kind of a big one. Um, we get calls on that quite a bit where um, because of lights and, and various heat loads that happen inside, um, it's very critical for them to keep um, humidity in check and uh, temperature. So a lot of good applications for low ambient head pressure controls. 
specifications, uh, the control voltage is 24 to 240. And um, that is nice. We used to have individual models for uh, different voltages, and now we've consolidated those into one universal model. Uh, line voltage, 120 volts to 600. So there's nothing in the field you're going to encounter uh, where, you, where this thing won't uh, uh, fit the application. Frequency 50 or 60 hertz. Um, we can use this thing around the world. Reversing valve input, 24 to 240. Uh, sensors, you can use 10K ohm temperature sensors or uh, 0 to 500 PSI pressure sensors. And uh, those also should cover everything out there. Operating temperature, you know, huge wide range on that. Uh, heat pump reversing valve input 24 uh, to 240. So we've got every, all the bases covered as far as applications. Uh, some of the nice features on this thing, uh, near field communication. We've got a near field communication chip in there. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Uh, we have inputs for two pressure or two temperature sensors. And um, those are up here in the sensor uh, section of the, of the control. And that gives you total flexibility. You don't have to have a separate control, um, you know, for the, for the different types of application. Uh, heat pump bypass for full speed operation and heating mode. Um, Jumper selectable cool activated reversing valve enabling. Uh, most are energized in heat, um, some are energized in cool. Jumper selectable control voltage, um, and then it's capable of controlling multiple motors, um, uh, maximum 10 amps, but uh, control of all motors were, will always default to the lowest temperature uh, sensor and uh, temperature or pressure, and that's, uh, that's a safety feature. Uh, full list of cross-reference we replace you know virtually everything out there uh icm is the leader in low ambient head pressure controls we have been for a long time we um we had like i say a variety of controls we'll take a look at those real quick and show you what we replace with this uh, upgraded universal icm 325a um but you know uh ranko johnson controls hoffman um anything that's out there uh, we replace all of those and uh, have been a leader in that market for a long, long time. ICM 325A, what makes it universal? And uh, it's the temperature or pressure inputs, universal input voltage, wide range 120 to 600, universal control voltage 24 to 240. Um, as we talked about, universal reversing valve um, voltage 24 to 240. And then all the parameters are programmable using NFC technology uh, via the uh, ICM Omni app. And um, you can really dial these things in. Uh, previous models, we had the 325, a couple versions of that, 326, um, and uh, 327 was 480, 333 uh, offered the two temperature and two pressure. So, uh, essentially, we're replacing all of these controls with this one ICM 325A. The old controls had potentiometers on them. You can see the potentiometers here. Um, <clears throat> potentiometers are not as accurate. Um, and I don't know what the degree of accuracy is on it, but it's pretty loosey-goosey. Now, uh, when you dial these things in, they are just uh, very highly accurate. Um, you can dial it into like dead nuts number. Uh, that you're looking for. And um, we'll take a look at that here in a sec. Easy wiring, uh, really, I mean, you're, you know, three wires uh, aside from your probes or or anything you might need on this side. Uh, but basically, you're going to take common off of your uh, uh, single phase PSC fan motor. Um, it's not uh, intended to work with uh, ECM uh, type motors, but condenser fans are, are typically um, uh, single phase PSC motor and uh, you just uh, take the common terminal off the motor to uh, motor two, uh, T, uh, you know, L2, T2 to uh, line two, and then you hook up a jumper from the common uh, to the L1 terminal. And uh, that's it, you know, pretty simple. Uh, same thing for heat pump, uh, except the only difference. So uh, T2 is going to go to line two again. And then your common from the capacitor is going to go to uh, L1 or line one uh, slash motor one on the control. And then um, this 
uh, motor two terminal instead of going to the common terminal on the motor it's going to go to the common terminal on the uh, fan relay or defrost port and that's it and then with this you've got uh you know uh the jumper for cool uh active if you want to change that your temperature probes hook up here and then you've got your reversing valve input um uh, down here Easy installation video uh, is available online. If you go to the ICM website and go to the resources tab, uh, there are installation videos on all of our products and um, uh, really well done. Uh, Matt Valent uh, did some really nice videos for us, uh, former field guy and was our rep up there uh, in the Northeast and uh, did a really great job installing these and showing you how to set them up. and. Uh, uh, it's it's really uh, good to look at. It's available in the field. Uh, typically, we'll have QR codes on the packaging, and you can scan that QR code, and it'll take you right to the page for this uh, item. And then if you look around on that page, there's a link uh, on the page also that'll take you to the video. Troubleshooting. Um, we've got a couple of LEDs on there that will uh, that will tell you everything you need to know. Uh, about the operation of the control. And uh, so a little chart here, uh, which is also available online, scan that scan that code and you can get to the uh, uh, application guide. But uh, if you get a green uh, solid LED, let's look down here. Solid LED means full speed operation. Uh, maybe it's a heat pump, you know, bypass situation. Uh, we got an amber LED. Uh, so if we go down here to on, uh, very, it's in variable speed operation. And then some of the diagnostics, if you see uh, flashing light, for example, maybe this LED is flashing. Uh, three flashes means open, open sensor. So it tells you very, very simply what's going on uh, with the control so you can diagnose. This isn't. This has uh, near field communication, and we're using this on a few devices. We're using it where it makes sense. Um, I've seen some people out there putting near field communication on everything. It's kind of a new, you know, newer technology, um, and so people think you know they should put it on everything uh, where it makes sense and where it's functional for a contractor. Um, we feel that it's a, a really nice upgrade. Uh, with some of these products and uh, so just look for the nfc logo wherever you see that nfc logo you'll be able to go to the icm omni app and um and um we'll take a look at that here in just a sec but nfc technology uh is a short range wireless technology that allows your phone to act as a uh, you know kind of a pass card quick transfer of data and uh instantly compare with these devices and uh, so if you see that nfc logo uh download the omni app on the phone and um, you'll be able to change your parameters and program these things without it being connected to anything it doesn't need to be powered uh there's no pairing necessary uh, very very simple and hacker free eliminates the need for uh for us to put those costly displays on the on the product so now, you know, everybody's got a phone and you can use the phone and be more accurate. And um, and uh, we're able to, you know, keep cost contained and stuff uh, as well. So that's, a, that's another benefit uh, for everybody. More and much more accurate settings uh, than the potentiometers. So basically um, the ICM Omni app, this is what the logo looks like. If you have a control, an ICM control that has the NFC logo on it, all you need to do is lay your phone on there. And uh, there's a couple of differences, like uh, I've got an Android. With the Android, I lay the back of the phone on the logo and it pops up on my phone. With an iPhone, you need to use the kind of the tip of the phone, the bottom corner on the top and uh, kind of slide that back around and back and forth on the logo and it'll pop up. If you don't have the app downloaded, it will automatically pop up uh, a screen like this and you know say do you want to download the app just simply download the app and uh, then when you lay your phone on the nfc logo you'll get this screen and uh, once you have the app downloaded and basically you lay your phone on there 
um, this screen pops up. You want to program the device, select program. It'll give you a um, menu of the items, the ICM items that have this NFC technology, and you just choose the low ambient head pressure control. And then you say create a new program. And basically, it'll give you all the options, uh, the, the various parameters here for setting. So you can choose your probe type. Uh, this one happens to be set to temperature. But if you tap on that a blue bar, uh, it'll give you temperature or pressure. And you just select which one you want. Um, set point allows the end user to set the set point temperature or pressure that you wish to maintain. And uh, then the hard start setting. So uh, hard start, uh, the, the difference here is sleeve bearing or ball bearing motor. Uh, with a sleeve bearing motor, you need to ramp it up to full speed to wick oil and lubricate the bearing. And then you can allow it to go down to the minimum output voltage setting for a sleeve bearing motor. Uh, for a ball bearing motor, you can pretty much start at any speed and you can run it down a lot lower. So uh, for example, um, the minimum output voltage setting, and this adjusts the range which the control operates the variable speed. And so the max setting of 48 um, is the least amount of variable speed range for a uh, sleeve bearing motor. Ball bearing motor, minimum setting of 17. So you can drop those way down. Um, but but uh, sleeve bearing motors need to wick oil to lubricate the bearing. So this will ramp up every once in a while as well to uh, accomplish that. But basically, yeah, you select, uh, and then after you've chosen your, your settings here, select program device and you just lay it on that NFC logo and it immediately programs. It's amazing. It'll, it'll do it in two seconds. Uh, so even if you were in the shop, for example, and you wanted to set up multiple controls, maybe you're going out on a commercial site or something that has multiple, uh, where you're going to install multiple of these devices, uh, you can pre-program those at the shop and then take them out and install them and don't have to do anything in the in the field you know it's cold outside right we're using a low ambient control so this will save you some uh, uh some wear and tear on you as well uh, but using nfc technology to read your device is just as easy so let's say you've already got one of these installed out in the field uh you don't know what the program is when you approach it and uh this gives you an easy way to uh to determine that so basically you just touch read device and you lay it on there on, on the nfc logo on the on the device and it will bring that program up and now all you do is say program device and lay it on your new device and it's programmed just like the old one so it uh, couldn't be simpler what makes it superior uh, all those things that we just talked about but uh, it is truly universal uh, variable speed so competitive models just turn off the fan completely, uh, resulting in inconsistent head pressure, inconsistent cooling, rattling of pipes and ducts, uh, system leaks, ult uh, and ultimately can shorten the lifespan of the equipment, um, you know, condenser fan motor and compressor. Um, so, you know, the, um, the variable speed nature of this thing is is what makes it unique and and the fact that it protects both that sleeve bearing uh and ball bearing motor cm quality quality time and uh time tested product um well accepted well trusted by uh contractors in the field and for good reason uh, icm makes the best products in their respective categories i believe and uh we've got a great technical support department and uh, we've got engineers, you know, on staff, and they are sitting there ready to answer your questions. Uh, John Finetti does a fantastic job, knows these products like the back of his hand, and uh, you just don't get that kind of support with some of these people that um, may have multiple products and, um, you know, sourcing multiple products from, you know, various places. They they aren't experts in each of their controls uh, like ICM is. Safety and reliability, um, that's an ICM, you know, flagship as well. But uh, uh, so this, this control, you know, provides uh, full torque of the motor during startup to help ensure proper fan uh, rotation and lubrication of the bearings tended to be used with a single phase split uh, 
uh, PSC motors and um, field adjustable user may set the RPM levels, which is, um, you know, it's very beneficial to be able to dial those things in uh, just where you want them uh, for optimum performance. Heat pump bypass uh, for full speed operation, um, also very important. And then um, universal parts advantages. So uh, most of the products that we've been talking about here on the last couple of uh, uh, webinars are the universal products and uh, universal is is really an important uh, feature and it's a it's a thing that ICM is is seeking to do more and more of uh, we've got some some new products in the works that will be very exciting uh, once those things uh, uh, come available but universal parts just makes sense for everyone it makes sense for us as a manufacturer because we can produce more of these things in a shorter amount of time um, for distributors it's you know you're getting a quality product uh, reduced inventory fewer SKUs, more turns um, you know who doesn't want that and uh, it's a single u.s source um, icm is based in uh, syracuse new york high manufacturability like i say um, when we can focus on one product and we've really streamlined these these newer versions of products uh, that was one of the things that uh, supply chain kind of did for us that was painful at the time but now it really is turning out to be a, a, a wonderful thing for ICM we have um, uh, challenged every product and looked at it to see how can we uh, improve this upgrade it streamline it so that we can produce more um, in a in a shorter amount of time with newer components that are more readily available in the world market and so so it it kind of forced our hand but it's really turning out to be a great thing uh, most of our most all of our products have been redesigned um, and um, high manufacturability we can crank these things out um, like crazy so uh, it's, it makes for a great versatile on-hand solution for the distributors readily available they can get them anytime they need them uh, for contractors you know pretty limited space on the truck and um, so once again, you know, they want to, you want a quality product. You don't want callbacks. And uh, so we've got great quality, uh, well-established. It's perfect truck stock. Uh, if I'm working in the field and I can have a control and I end up out, you know, uh, way out of the, out in the boonies somewhere, uh, I don't want to have to make trips back and forth to the distributor to try and find uh, something that's going to work. I have something on my truck that is highly universal and most likely is going to be able to uh, get the job done, get me off to another job where I can make money as opposed to having to make trips back and forth. And, and that opportunity cost is really what eats up the contractor. Um, they're widely available. ICM products are widely available because we've been around since 1984. And uh, again, it's a trusted quality brand that almost all distributors have some ICM in stock. So chances are you're gonna find what you need. So if your favorite distributor doesn't happen to have it, um, usually just down the street, um, any any distributor down the street is likely to have uh, some ICM on the shelf. Very easy to install. We think like contractors um, and uh, the engineering department always challenges themselves to, um, to really make sure that we're uh, developing products that uh, are going to work well for the contractor and be well received uh, by the contractor and uh, we're always competitively priced so great product quality price you know what more could you ask for right? so let's see what else uh, we have a preseason going on right now and um, the the preseason is for distributors they can stock up on these items and uh, make sure that they have them in advance of the uh, of the upcoming heating season <clears throat> you know in, in these terms but we usually do this in the in the uh, spring and uh, and fall so that people can have the inventory on their shelf ahead of the game and uh, we usually uh, try to offer some incentives to make that make that worthwhile uh, nobody wants to sit on inventory for too long uh, but we try to um, try to help um, share in the cost of that 
uh, by offering some special discounts and stuff. Uh, and as you can see on this preseason, the ICM 325 is a featured item. So um, uh, anything that has the featured item um, marker on it uh, may have some additional incentives uh, available for the distributors to bring those in. But uh, great quality products. All three of these that are shown here are, are just flagship items for ICM. Uh, the 325A, the 517A surge protection device, um, best in class, uh, twice the protection of, of the competitors that are out there. Um, you know, extruded aluminum <clears throat> housing, uh, NEMA 4X, it's just a, a super high quality product. Uh, the highest protection that is allowed uh, by UL. And then the uh, UFPT timers, those are universal function programmable timers using the NFC technology as well. And um, they're amazing. So the five wire replaces virtually all timers uh, out there. It can be a delay on make, a delay on break, a bypass timer. It can be a single shot timer, a duty cycle timer, uh, keep naming it. It, it, covers, uh, it covers everything. And um, <clears throat> so this is a picture of the facility inside, uh, ju just a partial. I mean, we've got board shop, we've got, um, it's it's an amazing operation out there in, uh, in Syracuse. If you're ever in that neck of the woods, please give us a call. We always love to walk people through the facility. It's very impressive. So um, the ICM website is chock full of information. So if you go there, uh, take a look at the media library. <clears throat> there's there's so much information there. There's all the installation videos. We've got uh, short snippet videos uh, that that distributors can run in their showroom uh, that are maybe a minute long, and they feature the product. And it's just kind of like um, glamour shot of the product with some nice background and. Um, and then bullet points of what it what it is and what it does. Uh, those are nice uh, to run on loops in the in the stores. Everything's downloadable from the website, uh, but also we have installation videos. We try to keep those short and to the point. Uh, we also have uh, the webinars, uh, the the more in depth training webinars and stuff that are out there as well. So um, and uh, I see him uh, university. Uh, um, training information also out there. Product details, uh, the individual product pages tell you everything that you need to know. You can download pictures, you can download um, uh, cell sheets and um, uh, installation guides. There's a master cross-reference out there. Cross-reference is very helpful uh, at times if you're a contractor in the field and um, come across an item, you can look those up very quickly and find an ICM replacement. Uh, and again, the best technical support uh, in the business, in my opinion. And um, how are we looking on um, uh, questions or anything like that? Hey, Keith, thank you. Um, I don't haven't seen anything um, come up here. So, but if anybody does have any questions, you know, please feel free to raise your hand to you know, uh, give us a chat. Or just mention it right now, man. No question. So that means I answered everything perfectly. That sounds like it. <laughs> so, is that what that means? All right. Well, um, we do appreciate everybody's time. Thank you for joining. And uh, call us anytime. Uh, we're always happy to help. And um, that's about it. Well, thank you very much, Keith. Uh, as usual, a fantastic uh, presentation. And uh, please uh, don't forget to join us on our media library. This will, I assume this information will be available there as well. And uh, so uh, Keith has made a number of these um, that you can always, um, you know, you can always uh, review. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you and uh, have a good day. Thank you. Thanks, Keith. Take care.